In the video today, I wanna to show you how to take a screenshot and how to print on your Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 7. So first, let's go over how to take a screenshot or how to take a picture of your screen. There are a few different ways to do this, but the easiest way I like to do it is simply holding down on the power button and the volume down button for one second, just like this. Power, volume down, and you're gonna press them at the same time. One, two, three, hold and let it go. You'll see the screen flash just like that. You get this pop up right at the bottom of the screen. Now I'm gonna do it one more time. One, two, three, hold and let it go. And if you tap on that little image that pops up in the bottom left corner, it will give you this option here, of basically what app you wanna to use to edit that photo after. Or you can do this, power volume down, hold, let it go, and tap on one of the options at the bottom here. If you tap on the first one, this will let you immediately crop down the image. So we just drag from the corners here and I can crop out that top section and I can from the drag from the bottom up and crop out the bottom. And then I can tap on this pencil here if I would like to write on the picture or circle or highlight something on the picture. When you're done, simply tap on this down arrow and that will basically save the photo to your gallery app. Next, we're going to swipe up on the home screen and go to our gallery app, which is right here. Find that picture and here it is and it basically just saves it right into your photo gallery. Your phone will also create a folder for screenshots, which is now right here. And I can tap on that folder to see all the different screenshots that I've taken on the screen. Now, one cool thing as well that I've added to my phone is I have a screenshot button. So actually I can take a screenshot whenever I want without having to hold those two buttons. All I have to do is tap on this button in the bottom left corner and it'll automatically snap a picture of my screen. If you wanna learn how to add that screenshot button to the bottom left corner of your phone, click on this link here to my tips and tricks video and I show you in that video how to add this little shortcut right there. Okay, so now that we've taken the screenshot, next let's go over how do we print. Let's say I wanna print this screenshot, how do I do it? Well, here's how we do it. So, and this will work for any picture, not just that one, this is for any picture on your phone. Basically tap on the picture and in the upper right corner, tap on the three dots and go down to print. Now guess what? You can't print without a printer and you can't print without Wi-Fi. So those are two things you will need to make this work. So I do have Wi-Fi and you'll notice my Wi-Fi is turned on. In the upper right corner, I have my Wi-Fi icon right here. If yours is not on, no problem. Just swipe down from the top of the screen, swipe down again and you'll find your Wi-Fi button right here. And you can simply tap that to turn it on. If it's grayed out like this, that means your Wi-Fi is off. And if it's lit up in blue like this, or if it's lit up, that means your Wi-Fi is on. So that's the first step. The second step is you need a Wi-Fi printer. Now I use the Epson XP4 200 and I'll link it on screen right here. I'm a big fan of Epson printers because they're super easy to set up and they work really well with Samsung phones. So check out that link on screen if you want to look at what printer I'm using or a similar version of that printer. So you need to make sure your printer is turned on and make sure you've already set it up and it's on your Wi-Fi network. Next, we're going to tap on select a printer at the top of the screen here and you'll see the printer will show up in this menu right here. Now, for whatever reason, if it doesn't show up, no problem, you might need to add it. And that's really easy just by tapping all printers and going through the menu and looking for the printer there. But if you've already set up the printer and the printer is already on your Wi-Fi network, you should be good and it should pop right up. So I'm gonna select the printer like this. And basically I'm gonna tap on this little yellow circle that has a printer icon on it. And this will allow me to send this picture to the printer. Now I'm getting a pop-up here that says, hey, do you wanna use the default print service? Just simply press okay. And we'll try it one more time. Three dots, print, tap on the button there. And as you can hear, now that is being sent to the printer. So that's how easy it is to print a picture on your phone. Now, before you go, I'm gonna show you also how to print an email and how to print a website. Hey, one quick thing. You might've noticed that my Z Flow 7 stays nice and flat on this tabletop where normally this phone does not sit very well because of how big the camera bump is. Well, I have this really cool thing on the back. It's called the Armor Pop by a company called Binks. And this little guy comes in handy so well because without it, you'll notice the phone rocks a lot more, but when it's on there, it actually helps to stabilize the phone. It's also a stand, so you can actually make your phone stand up just like that. And it also works really well if the phone is open. You can 
have it up in different positions and this makes it great for like watching videos and it's a pop socket as well so when this closes you can simply open this up and then put your finger in there and then you can use it to hold your phone so pretty cool something i've been using for a while and i'll link it on screen right here in case you want to take a look and maybe consider getting one okay let's go to our gmail app i'm just going to go to my google folder and go to gmail and then i'm going to print this email from google pixel and once the email is open, you'll go to the upper right corner, tap on the three dots and come down to print. And it's the same process now. So one thing about printing an email that's different from a picture is that there's multiple pages in this email. And so you'll see right here, it'll say one of seven, two of seven, and basically all of them have a check in the bottom right corner. If there's a page you don't want to print, just simply uncheck that page and go through and you can manually select which pages are going to be printed. And then when you're done, you can tap on that yellow button to send it to the printer. You can also tap on copies and you can switch it and add, maybe I want to print two copies or five copies or 10 copies. You can do that there. You can also change it from color to black and white. You can change the letter and the orientation size. So all that can be done right there. And then when you're done, tap on that yellow button to send it to the printer. Now let's move on to how to print a web page. Let's hit the home button. Now let's go to Google Chrome. And let's say I want to print a page from Amazon's website. Maybe I want to print out the details of this charger because it's a really cool charger and maybe I'm thinking about buying one for someone. I'm going to go to the upper right corner, tap on the three dots, but what you'll notice is there's no print button this time. Where's the print button? Well, in Chrome, there is an extra step. So all you need to do is tap on share first, and then you'll see a print button right here. Tap on print, and then it will load up the pages. You can go in and select what pages you want to print or just print them all and then tap on that yellow button and that'll send it right to the printer. So it's just that easy, guys. So um, I linked earlier to that printer that I'm using and I'll link to another option right here as well. Um, I hope you got value out of this video. If you did, bump that like button down below. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care and as always, have a good one.